So I started building a small truck camper here that I'm gonna put in my Toyota Tundra with a six and a half foot box. I'm making it short enough that it should be able to fit in the truck box with the tailgate closed. And it's just got a little single bed cab over. It's gonna be fairly plain Jane. Not gonna have a whole bunch of luxuries in it. Just like a small sink with a where it just sucks out of a five gallon jug and then dumps into a five gallon jug for the gray water. I'll put a little spot for a camp stove, Coleman stove, and I'm going to put a little gravity heater in it as well. It's all just framed out of regular dimensional lumber. Everything's glued and screwed. The floor is uh, a layer of half inch plywood, top and bottom with two inch foam in between. So that's R10, and then all the walls and everything else will be R5, just one inch foam. And then it'll be R10 inch and R10 two inch insulation in the ceiling as well. So it's just a little single cab over bed up top. And then I will have a small booth for sitting at as well that will turn into another bed. Right here I put in a couple of pieces of beam material and I will put some hooks on the bottom side of that that I can attach it uh, right to the, the loops in the bed of the truck instead of having to do belly bars and attach it on the outside of the truck bed. So down here I'll end up cutting a little access hatch on each side so that I can hook it up inside the truck box and reach in, I'll have a hook under there to the loop in the truck box. I'm hoping to have a finished weight of under 1,200 pounds, and the half ton should handle that fairly well. I started putting on some of the outside plywood. I'm just using quarter inch revolution plywood from Home Depot, it's quite thin. And I'm just gluing it and screwing it on. And we'll cover everything with that. And then I'm not entirely sure what my exterior finish is going to be yet. I may cover the whole thing in fiberglass matting. Or I may also just do a metal exterior on it as well. I'm not entirely sure yet. a window right here on both sides that are 24 inches by 15 and then just a little 45 angle at the top So on the camper here, I'm going to start fiberglassing it today. Here's the roof. I'm going to start with this. I, uh, I made a little curb for the uh, powered roof vent, so just so it sticks up a little bit and then it's less of a chance of any future leakage. So I had to fill in the corner here so that the mat can, can handle the contour that doesn't like sharp corners apparently. I've never done any fiberglassing before, but I've watched some YouTube videos and I'm going to give it a go. I also rounded all these corners so that the fiberglass can go over that. So my plan is to do the, the roof and keep it in a little bit on the edges. And then when I do the sides front and back, I'll roll those over and so that the overlap is on the, on the roof. And then hopefully I can make the outsides nice and smooth and flat and look good. So I filled all the screw holes with Bondo and everything. Got everything all rounded and sanded nice and flat. That was the plywood joint. Plywood joint there. 
The exterior is all just 3 16 plywood over wood framing inside. That's the furnace. This is where the vent for the furnace will be. So I'll just glass up to the edges of that and then cut out the inside. And then I'll attach the, uh, the venting with, just with some butyl tape. Time to get cracking. So I have my primer coat of resin rolled onto the roof here. I just use a four inch wide roller. And then I've got uh, some strips of chop mat that I'm gonna do around that, just four pieces. I'll do that. And then I have a big piece for at the back here with a, with a bit cut out for around the vent that'll go on. And then one from the front that'll overlap that one about a foot, just cause I couldn't get product big enough to cover the whole roof in one piece. So, so that's how that's going to go. Step one complete. I'll let this, uh, I'll let this set up a little bit. It's still a bit tacky. It's only been about 15 minutes since I finished rolling it on. And then uh, we'll get cracking on the next step.